Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we're gonna be talking about my project pan. And I can't even believe what I'm about to say, but we are at the very last update of this project pan. Today's video will be the last time I'm sitting down and recapping with you the progress on these products before the finale, which will be at the end of the month of December. I can't even wrap my head around how we're this far into the year. Like the new year is literally around the corner, but I'm sure we're all kind of feeling that way. It is just, mind boggling, but here we are, here we are. And I actually have a very, very good update for you. I have lots of progress and I will be rolling in just a handful of products to work on for the remaining month of the year, which is super exciting. So definitely stay tuned for that at the very end of today's video. If you're not familiar with this project pan, I have been working on this since the very beginning of this year. And it is a rolling style project pan where I work on all different types of products in my collection with different types of goals, whether they're usage goals, like a certain number of times I have to reach for them, hitting pan, whether it's completing things up, I have just been mixing it up throughout this project pan to keep things fresh and interesting for myself. And I do think having that kind of balance has been amazing for me this year to help me feel successful and to rotate through my collection as well. So I am going to be implementing the same sort of practices into my project pan for next year. And if you feel like you get burnt out with project pans pretty easily, I highly recommend actually having usage goals in tandem with completion goals because that way you're getting things emptied and used up and seeing progress on your collection in that capacity. But then you're also reaching for things and not letting them just go to waste, not letting them just be completely neglected and having some fun with things and ensuring that you're rolling items out of the project on a regular basis, at least that's what I've learned this year, but I'm already rambling as I always do. We got to get on track and talk about the progress that I've made, which I've said is very, very exciting progress. For a reference point, I've worn makeup 23 times since I last updated this project pan. Today is that 23rd use. I love to have that metric just for my own kind of understanding, but I will have the uses of each individual product on, to, on the screen for you to reference as well. So you can see how frequently I'm really reaching for these products in reference to how much I've been wearing makeup. This past month, I've been really focused on these products. So I've been using them in combination with other things from my collection while I've been working on my chopping block, while I've been trying to decide if there's things that I want to declutter or not. But my uses are quite substantial and I think my progress will show you that. So let's get on into the progress. So let's talk about a product that has been in the project for quite some time and it's the first empty I'm gonna share with you in today's update. I think last update you knew that this was going to be getting used up, but this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Blow Me Out, and she is entirely gone. It feels so good because I've had this in my collection for years and years at this point. My interest and my feelings about this have definitely come in waves throughout the years of using this, but at the tail end of reaching for it through the entirety of this project pan as a focus, I have really enjoyed it. I really like wearing it as a base product. So underneath of my foundations, I would just use it for a little bit of a glow and it was incredible. So if you have super shock cheeks, this texture really lends well to wearing them underneath the foundations. And I highly recommend using them in that way if you feel so inclined. Here is the empty pan. It feels so good to see this. It feels so good. Last update, there was the tiniest, tiniest amount of product left. And I recall saying, I thought it was gonna be used up in like three, four, maybe five uses. But let me pull up my phone and actually share with you the number because it surprised me how long it ended up actually taking me to use up completely. It took me 13 more uses and you'll see the comparison from last month to this month. There was barely any product there. My goodness, I'm happy I persevered and got it done. It feels good to use up a highlighter and to have this out of my collection and out of my life. It feels incredibly good. The next product I wanna share with you is my Bite Beauty Multi Stick in the shade Cashew. It's just this tiny little itty bitty mini product that I got as a freebie at one point in some capacity or another. And I've had this in the project again for many months. There was a month where I lost it. So we have been through quite a roller coaster with this product, but 
It's looking a little bit different than it did last update because I have entirely decanted it. So you can see I dug right down, got out every little bit of product that I could from this because it ended up getting flush with the packaging about two weeks ago, I'd say. I had used so much of it on the lips and on the cheeks that I had to depot it. So I have actually put it into this empty e.l.f. compact that I had and there's very little product remaining in here. And so this is all that remains. It's very, very little product. I'm gonna have this done for the finale of this project pan, which feels amazing because I did not anticipate this. I actually wanted originally to use it up in its entirety, which will be the case now. But partway through the project, I kind of came to terms with the idea that I would just use it until it was flush with the packaging. And I have surpassed that. So I know for sure the end is very, very near with this one. It is so, so close to done. And next update, you'll see not only this empty bullet, but this empty pan. And I cannot wait to share that with you. Today I'm wearing it actually on the eyes, like all over my eyes, all over my under eye, and then I have other shadows in tandem with it. I'm also wearing it on the cheeks in tandem with another blush. And oftentimes I wear it as a lipstick, but today I just kind of felt like switching it up because it has been so heavily used lately. And I just felt like doing something a little bit different, but yeah, this is gonna be an empty. I cannot wait for that to be the case. Another product that most definitely will be empty by the finale is this my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Before I rolled this into this project pan, I did end up repressing this. And so I knew that there wasn't too much more time left with this product in my collection. I just needed to put in a little bit of work. So that's why I decided to roll it into the project. Last update, I had mentioned that it was so incredibly thin and I knew that I was very close to hitting pan on it again. And I have most definitely done that. There is quite sizable pan in here now. And the product is incredibly thin. There is such a small amount of product in here that this one feels like it's a bit of a gimme for me. I am going to use it in my crease in my eyes just to kind of tie my look together. And of course, as a bronzer, as I have been wearing pretty much exclusively for the last little while, whenever I reach for a powder bronzer, it is this one. And I am so beyond ready to say goodbye to it. The pan ended up actually like popping apart from the packaging somehow this month. And I don't know how that ended up happening. This is just so fragile, this packaging. The clasp is broken on it as well. So I'm just ready to have this done. It is so close. So it is also a product that I think will be done. I know will be done for the finale and I can't wait to see that. Another empty will be had by the end of the year. Let's chat about a product with a usage goal, which is my NYX um, Slide On Glide On and definitely a Turn On or whatever the name is eyeliner. This is in the shade Golden Bronze. I had set myself a goal to reach for this 20 times in the project pan and last update, I believe I had a total of 13 uses already on it. Yes, I did. So I just needed to reach for an additional seven times and that was absolutely no problem for me to do. I have now reached for it that seven times, bringing me to 20 total uses in this project. And this color is just a great neutral that goes with so many different looks. It's perfect for this time of year. Here's a swatch. You can see it just is perfect. I love the metallic in it. I think it really brightens up my eyes and draws a little, a little bit more attention to the eyes as well. I find this color to be incredibly flattering on my coloring as well. And it just enhances looks to wear this in the waterline or to wear it on the top lashes, lower lashes, wherever. I think it's such a beautiful product. So 20 uses was not a huge challenge, but it was good to ensure that I reached for it a hefty amount by the end of the year. So I'm so happy to have reached this goal. This will be rolling out of the project pan and I'm sure I'll be reaching for it regardless in December because I've come to really, really embrace reaching for this and loving it. I've been loving it so much. Alrighty, let's talk about two products that last update I said that I was definitely going to need to repress. One of them being the ColourPop Press Powder Shadow in the shade Full Zip, which I rolled in several months ago. It was just a creamy kind of eyeshadow color. And then the other one being the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. Well, I ended up deciding that it was time to repress both of them because the Physicians Formula one actually started to crumble and it wasn't holding its shape anymore. It wasn't together in one piece, so I had to repress it. 
And when I kind of broke it up, I ended up realizing how little product I had remaining in it. So I mixed the eyeshadow and the Physicians Formula Butter Blush together into this pan right here. So this is all that remains of actually both of those products. The eyeshadow pan is entirely empty, but for the most part, what's in here is actually full zip. There was so incredibly little product remaining in the butter bronzer, butter, butter blush rather. So this is actually the combination of those two products and I have been reaching for it very, very regularly, pretty much every single time that I do my makeup as an eyeshadow primer kind of setting product, as well as a brightening product all over the face. So sometimes I will just use it to kind of set and brighten in this area under my eyes. I'll use it to kind of blend out my cheek products to just make everything look a little bit softer and diffused. And then I will use this also as an inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight, all that kind of stuff. Now it is basically a satin kind of cream tone. It's not really got the same sheen that it used to have, but it blends into my skin tone perfectly. I don't even think you can see that swatch. It just has a tiny, tiny sheen that I think just looks beautiful. If I'm honest with you, I kind of regret this decision to kind of put the two together because I thought it would be advantageous to have them both in the same pan, but in terms of the use cases, I'm not enjoying it as much, but I'm still able to get use out of it. And I foresee myself being able to use it up by the end of the year, given that there's so little in here. As you can see, it's incredibly thin. Like, I don't even think that there's anything that's raised in this pan, so I'm very close to hitting pan on it yet again. And I do think this will be, if not done, very, very close to done for the end of the year, but I do think I should be able to actually complete it. So for now, I'm not considering the eyeshadow an empty, I'm not considering the butter blush an empty, but once this pan is complete, I will consider these both empties. And on that note, actually, I do have kind of metrics for how much I had used this eyeshadow prior to repressing. I have metrics for how much I had used this prior to repressing. And then I have a metric for how much I have used these both combined together. So you'll be seeing various stats on the screen for all three of these products, if that makes any sense. All different states of these two products, I should say. Last update, I had rolled in a product just to kind of make some progress on. I didn't set myself a usage goal. I didn't really think that it was possible to finish it up. I just wanted to kind of keep an eye on how much I was reaching for this and ensure it had some level of priority. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. It is a glowy kind of base product. I actually have really enjoyed wearing this all over the skin as just a base on its own. I've loved mixing it with my Complexion Rescue, mixing it with my NYX Born to Glow, all different types of base products, and it's a beautiful product. I've come to really enjoy it more than I think that I had in the past because it sinks into the skin really incredibly. I've actually used it 14 times since rolling into this project, which I think is great. If I hadn't put it in the project pan last update, I likely wouldn't have actually reached for this maybe at all in this year, so this is good. And I've actually made a sizable jump in the product as well. So I started all the way up here, and now I'm down to here, which feels good. I'm gonna keep it in the project and just continue to monitor it for the next month, see where I'm at, and hopefully make a little bit more progress on it, which I don't foresee being an issue whatsoever. So we'll just keep tracking it and check in at the finale. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have mine in the shade light beige and she's empty. I'm so happy that this is gone. This was not a favorite in my collection. I found this formula to be a little bit too dry, a little bit too cakey, but I made it work, I made it happen, and I'm so, so happy to have it done. It looks like maybe there's product in it, but I promise you I scraped it as best as I could with my makeup spatula, and this is all that remains. There's very, very little in here. It wouldn't be enough for even like half a use. So I use this as an eyeshadow primer most often, but in this past month, I had been reaching for it, oftentimes mixed with a liquid blush to kind of give it a little bit more coverage, more color correction, and to thin it out a little so that it didn't feel so heavy and so cakey on the under eyes. And I've enjoyed reaching for this and ensuring that it got used up, but I'm so happy it's out of my collection because it wasn't a favorite of mine. So now we have a product that has just been 
slowly but steadily making progress and that's okay. It is my Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. You can see this has quite substantial pan. This is a product that I have been working on very diligently throughout this project pan, but I have not found myself wanting to be hyper-focused on this as I have been with some of my other focus products. It's just something that I reach for consistently, consistently, regularly, and I ensure that I'm making progress on it, but I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to finish it up. In the last couple of months, I've come to terms with that, and so it's not gonna be done by the end of the year, but I'm gonna continue to use it, prioritize it, and track the progress on it. I am wearing it today on the cheeks, and on my crease in my eyes. If I look back month to month, I really do feel like I've made great progress on this. And that is really, at the end of the day, the most exciting thing for me to see how much this has changed and how much this pan has expanded it feels really good. So while it won't be an empty at the end of the year, I'm looking back and just seeing how much I've used. And that is great. And for the last focus product currently in this project pan, is my Merit Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Marrakesh. I rolled this into the project because it had kind of changed in its scent. That's something that I've noted with many of my Merit products that I received when they first launched the brand. And this is an empty. I know, again, it kind of looks like there's product in here, but because this is a squared off packaging, I cannot get my makeup spatula in here to take it out. I even have like a mixer kind of tool, which is a metal tool, and I still can't seem to get any of this product out of here either. The only other thing that I guess I could do and I'm not going to is probably use like a Q-tip and use that as the doe foot, but I've just not been bothered to do that. Honestly, I just have no interest. There's so, so little in here. Uh, it's done. It's real done. Here's what she looks like. This is what it looks like. You can see there is nothing remaining in here, so it's empty and farewell. I liked this product, but the more that I've been reaching for it over the past couple months, the more I kind of felt like it was drying out my lips every time I would wear it. I'm like, oh my gosh, my lips feel very parched as soon as it kind of faded away. And I really, really noticed that this past month because after I finished this, I had been kind of playing in my lip gloss collection using other things and I wasn't experiencing that same sort of sensation. So it must have been this. It was doing some counterproductive things to my lips. So I'm happy to have it done. I'm happy that this is the end of the line with this one. It's like my fifth or sixth lip gloss empty for the year, which I'm just like baffled by and super happy about. So yeah, that is all the progress on my focus products. Like I said, there will be some empties for my next update, which will be the finale of the project pan. These three bad boys right here will be done. And then there are just two products that I'll have more progress to share with you in the finale of the project pan. But seeing as we have another month and why not kind of get a kickstart on project panning for next year, I decided I'm just gonna roll in two new products to work on. I don't want to overwhelm myself. I wanna have some time to play with my collection as it is, but I'm going to roll in two products just for the heck of it. The first one being a ColourPop pressed powder shadow in the shade Sweet Dreams. This came from the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street palette, which is a very old palette. And what I want to do with this one is just hit pan. Not entirely sure that I can do that in a month's time, but I'm going to try my best to do so. I'll probably have to use this like 15 or so times in order to do so, but it is a metallic formula that is a little bit more loosely pressed. So I could surprise myself with this. If I end up wearing it in the inner corner, in the inner portion of my lids on the regular, then I think it's something that I can make decent progress on and possibly hit pan on, which would feel great. There's a swatch of it. You can see it's super, super wearable. So I don't foresee it being any kind of challenge for me. I just wanna make it happen. And then I'll be rolling in another ColourPop product. Actually, I didn't realize this prior, but this is a pretty much brand new product to me, actually. It is the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Stunton. It's the lip gloss that I have on today with a lipstick. And it is actually this ZC lipstick, which is a gorgeous like coral kind of shade. It's a very thick kind of formulation, but I found myself wanting to reach for this regularly lately, ever since I finished up the Merit one. And as you can see, I've made a little bit of a dent in it, nothing too notable, but I have made progress. And so 
I want to just track it. I want to kind of see where I'm at after a month of focusing on this. I don't want to try to finish it up in a month. I don't even know that I want to try to finish it up in the early parts of 2023, but I just think it'll be fun to monitor it and to track the progress on it after just a month of use. So that will get me ahead for the new year for panning lip glosses. So hopefully I can be on par with my panning lip gloss progress I made this year. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. That is everything for today's update. I am so excited about the progress that I've made this past month. And I'm really, really hoping to reach a few more goals for the finale of this project pan. I cannot wait. And I can't wait to see other people's project pan finales in the coming month as well. But yeah, that is everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.